On the therapeutics front, this is what I've been looking to do for a long time. This is a great thing. Today, I'm pleased to make a truly historic announcement in our battle against the China virus that will save countless lives. The FDA has issued an emergency use authorization, and uh, that's such a, a powerful term, emergency use authorization for a treatment known as convalescent plasma. This is a uh, powerful therapy that transfuses very, very strong antibodies from the blood of recovered patients to help treat patients battling a current infection. It's had an incredible rate of success. Today's action will dramatically expand access to this treatment. And I want to thank Dr. Hahn and uh, Secretary Azar. I want to thank the FDA, all of the people that have been working very hard on this. It showed tremendous potential. This is the only possible, and, and it's only made possible because of Operation Warp Speed. That is, everybody working together. We're years ahead of approvals. We would be if we went by the speed levels of past administration. We'd be two years, three years behind where we are today. And that includes in vaccines that you'll be hearing about very soon, very shortly. To deliver treatments and vaccine to save lives, we're removing unnecessary barriers and delays, not by cutting corners, but by marshalling the full power of the federal government. We provided $48 million to fund the Mayo Clinic study that tested the efficacy of convalescent plasma for patients with the virus. Through this study, over 100,000 Americans have already enrolled to receive this treatment, and it has proven to reduce mortality by 35 percent. It's a tremendous number. The FDA, MIT, Harvard, and Mount Sinai Hospital have also found convalescent plasma to be a very effective method of fighting this horrible disease. Based on the science and the data, the FDA has made the independent determination that the treatment is safe and very effective. Recently, we provided up to $270 million to the American Red Cross and America's Blood Centers to support the collection of up to 360,000 units of plasma. In late July, we launched a nationwide campaign to ask patients to have — who have recovered. And these are patients that have been incredible the way they've uh, donated. But these are people recovered from the virus to donate plasma. Since then, weekly plasma donations have doubled. And today, I once again urge all Americans who have recovered from the virus to go to coronavirus.gov and sign up and donate plasma today, please. It's been uh, really an incredible — just incredible people. The country has uh, united so strongly behind this. And I'll go over